Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the uniaxial and biaxial bending and columns. So I will try to explain the main difference between these two types of the bendings and columns with the help of examples. So let's consider this is any column and this is the axis of this column. So let's consider that we start from the simple case and this is the x-axis x-axis of the column and let's suppose this is the y-axis of the column so when the load acts at the centroid of the column at the center of this axis when the load acts at the center of this axis we call that this load is now concentric load because it acts at the center of both axes at the x-axis and also at the y-axis and also parallel to these axis, vertical axis. So we call such type of load is the axial load. So this P load will be called as the axial load. And due to this axial load, we will have stresses in a column we will call as the axial stresses. And we can find these axial stresses by this formula simply simply dividing the P which is the load divided by the area and area is the cross section area of this column if this is the depth of this column and this is the width of this column so dividing the cross section area by the load we can get the axial stresses and we can find these axial stresses by simply the load and area so this is the most simple case in which the load acts at the center of the column at both the center of the x-axis and y-axis. So, in this case, the column will only be compressed but cannot be bended. So, it can be only compressed theoretically up to some value. But we will not have any bending in this column because the load acts only at the center of the column. Now, come to the another two types of the bending. When we, let's consider that this is any axis again for this column and this is the x-axis again and this is the y-axis is the y-axis now let's consider that this is any load acting here away from the center of this column and this load is P acting here so now it is away from the center of the column along the y-axis along the x-axis it is still in center this load is still in center along the x-axis but along the y-axis it is away from the center so this is away from the center only in one axis so that's why we call such type of load is the uniaxial load and the bending created due to this type of load will be called is the uniaxial bending and this is the distance of E and this E is called eccentricity now the load this load will try to bend the column so we will call this type of the bending is the uniaxial bending. So the load will be called as the uniaxial load, and the bending will be called as the uniaxial bending because the load is along the center, along the one axis, along the x axis. You see here along the x axis, it is in center. It is at the same distance from both the direction. But along the y-axis, it is at the distance of E from the center of this column. So this is uniaxial load and the bending due to this load will be called as the uniaxial bending. And we cannot find out the stresses from this and from this load is simply with this formula. But we have to use the bending stresses equation which we can bending M C over I where M is the moment created. C is the neutral central distance and I is the moment of inertia. Now what will be the biaxial bending? Similarly, if I consider that this is any column and this is the x-axis of this column and this is the y-axis of this column and this is the vertical axis. So now when the load acts at uh, some distance from the center but in both from both the axes like for example the load it is at this point you see here there is some eccentricity of this load 
along the y direction this load is acting at a distance of e1 from the center along the y axis and also if we look into the x axis it is also away from the center if we call this distance is e2 so there are two different types of eccentricity because the load is acting away from the both axis centroid so such type of load will be called as the bi axial load and the bending bi axial load and the bending will be called as the bi axial bending because now the column will bend in both axes not only along the one axis like it was in the first case in the second case but here the column will try to bend in both the axes so we will call such type of bending as the bi axial bending because we will have two types of eccentricity one along the x axis along the y axis and one along the x axis hope you guys understand how to find out the difference between the unixial and bi axial loading bi axial loading as well as the bi axial bending and for daily civil engineering videos don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you for watching our video